Hey, Chad, if you're looking for something to spam out there on Twitch, I uh, just wanted to mention one of my favorite recent emotes. Um, I'll give you one guess about what it is, but it's, it's pretty pog bones. Uh, <laughs> sorry, chat mods. Uh, just having some fun there. Oh, here's a $10 donation from a fur Z saying, top hat is best hat. Let's see the top hat on Turnip Boy. Well, thanks very much for your donation. Uh, currently, though, Top Hat is in second place for our Turnip Boy bid war. Uh, currently, it will be a bird hat being worn if, uh, if things don't change. So make sure to uh, donate toward any of those other hat choices if that's what you're looking forward to. I've got uh, lots of love for the Top Hat in here, of all things. Here's... P. Mools with a $100 donation saying, always happy to donate to a great cause. Also, if you're going to commit tax evasion, you might as well look as fancy as possible. Full donation to turn a boy wearing the top hat while he commits tax evasion. And that bid war is rather close. Only a few hundred dollars, uh, well, less than, yeah, separating the bird hat and the top hat. Some of the other options have a little less money, could use a little more help. We'll see how that goes. Uh, you have until the uh, Turnip Boy run begins to try to change uh, that bid war. Uh, let's see, smiley face here, or maybe it's a uh, colon close parentheses. Uh, not sure how to pronounce that. Donated ten dollars, saying I'll donate ten more dollars if you say all the hat names backwards. Okay, why not? I'll give it a try. I am willing uh, to shill for charity. Uh, and we've got. Oh, I'm going to actually save that one for after this run because. <laughs> It's best to get you to what you're all here for. That's our next run. We're taking you now to the main stage. It's me, Scoozy, any percent, no hover, by Bullets. How's it going, everyone? This is me, Scoozy. Uh, does anyone have a favorite Italian uh, speedrun game character by any chance? Anyone? Can't think of one. I don't think there's no. any Italians. So a lot of people don't have one, obviously. So hopefully after watching this game, you might have a new favorite. <laughs> um, so we're just going to get started with this and explain it as we go. As you can see, this game uh, gets a little bit complicated, and there's a lot of uh, branching paths and different things we can do. So I'll try to, try to keep everything simple while we're going through. But it's a pretty complicated, uh, mechanically dense game. So we're going to get started in three, two, one, go. So while... While we're going through the tutorial, if my couch wants to introduce themselves while we do completely normal things. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amerlin. Uh, I've played this game casually uh, because B convinces everyone around them to run uh, super good and excellent games. Yep, yep. And uh, I love this game. I think it's great. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shockwave. You just saw me run Deer Simulator. Uh, I was given explicit instructions not to watch this until today. I'm PMC Trilogy. I was also given instructions not to watch this. <laughs> so <laughs> we're both in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in it. So I, I described this game before during my interview as an uh, untitled goose game, but uh, you're playing as an Italian man instead of a goose. Um, <laughs> And that's pretty accurate. You can see the task is at the bottom. Thankfully for this game, you don't have to do all the tasks. You just have to do the bold one. Um, and we're supposed to save an old man that's being attacked by the mafia. But if we just ignore him and run ahead to the next objective, it just eventually gives up and it's like, OK. What? Go, go to, oh, OK. We're getting boxed out. OK, good. Good stuff. Um, sometimes what will happen is you'll grab one of these documents and it counts as two. It's probably not going to happen. But what if it did right here? It didn't happen. OK, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine if it had. Could we clap like it did happen? Maybe. Awesome. Cool. Uh, we can also Naruto run in this game. We can just do this. <laughs> doesn't make you faster, but it does make me feel better about not getting the good RNG there. Anyways, we're going to break out the Mafia boss's window and just go here. Uh, they're going to put cinder blocks on our feet and throw us in the water. But we get stuck on a boat, which takes us to New York. Uh, so now we're in New York, and we have some new task lists to do. We, this is where the branching paths start. Uh, where the, the plot gets really deep with uh, what's going on. There's these cars going by. If I get hit by them, I just lose the ability to move around for like five, what? ten seconds. Oh, there's Vespas here. Oh, they kind of go a little bit fast. <laughs> um, Big fan of these. Oh, I'm just stuck on it now. Oh, we're good. Never mind. Yeah, we're still doing the deer gag? Okay. This is about as hard as to, to control as it looks. 
Yep. Um, yeah, if any of these cars hit me, there's a good chance I just get launched uh, out of the map. So we don't want that to happen. We're just going to very politely, uh, the normal New York way of just, just... push other people into the Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> 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 so we have two different choices of what we're going to do. Uh, if you do help the man at Tech HQ move, uh, it just has a little side quest thing. This game has side quests. Um, but instead, we're going to go win a luxury cruise, a very fair roll as we're uh, doing this here. Very carefully. <laughs> this looks like it controls as well as Gang Beasts. Oh, yeah. No, it's very similar to that game. And we have to make sure to jump over this road because sometimes a car goes by and will hit you out of bounds if you're not careful. So we're on a cruise now. Uh, we're going to Rio, but we want to get there a little bit faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to just politely jump around here. We're supposed to disguise ourselves to get back here, but you can just jump around the wall. It's fine. Uh, and this is the hardest challenge ever. We have to go up this wall. Oh, there we go. Hey. Cool. hey. How did you even get up the wall? You just... Jump up the wall? So this is the navigation system for the ship. <laughs> so we're going to just take it straight through. So we crashed the ship. Uh, the World Cup's happening Wait, here, what? though. I'm so lost. It's fine. I'm it's trying okay. to follow everything, but you just keep jumping around so quickly. It, the game goes by pretty fast, you know. There's a lot of lore we're missing, unfortunately. But yeah, so we want to steal the World Cup, uh, naturally, <laughs> obviously. Uh, we need to get these fans out of the way. Not... A big fan. Oh, those are World Cup fans. Yes. Yeah. World Cup sized fans. So, so you see, we have a getaway uh, car rental service here. Uh, we're going to use this sign to push this guy gently uh, but firmly out of the way. Um, because normally you have to disguise yourself as a player and he'll let you through. Um, and there's an invisible wall attached to him. And the nice thing is, uh, since it's attached to him, if we just. Oh, he's stuck. That's not good. Well, let's try pushing <laughs> the other side of the side. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Uh, we might have to actually restart the level because he got stuck in the wrong part of Oh, my goodness. Looks like he's stuck on the doorknob. Oop, don't look ahead. Close your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we go to the Pentagon at some point? No, no. Speak. OK, thanks. The one option that's I'm left on the screen. It is a shame we're skipping some of the in-level, or the between-level transitions, because there's a poem written between every level. Yes. And they're all great. So This th game is, I think, free. You should play. Yeah, this game is worth every dollar. Definitely, definitely <laughs> get it. Uh, so we're going to get these fans of the way. So like I was saying before, normally you would have to actually interact with the game and do the things it tells you to do. But we're not going to do that. We're going to more carefully this time. Why Can you it? do anything in this game carefully? Is it? No, this game <laughs> is not very good with precision or trying to do things the correct way. All right. I think the more impressive part of this entire run is your characters never lost their sunglasses. Yeah. yeah. Still have it's a scoozy man. It's a scoozy man. Almost. He needs to be like getting sucked into the wall. There we go. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. So the invisible wall is pushed enough to the side now that hopefully if we wiggle our body <laughs> and believe... Just there we go. <laughs> so this category is any percent no hover because of course you can prop fly in this game. Uh, and I got so annoyed with this level that I couldn't figure out how to beat it that I just prop flew over the wall and then grabbed the World Cup and left. And then prop flew with the World Cup out. So yeah. we can't do that. And the way out is too small. So what we're going to do is we're just going to send the... Oh, our arm got stuck. That's unfortunate. And now we're... Oh, OK. So this is fine. This is just normal. Yeah. Oh, see, hey, there we go. Magic yeah. trick. How did the we get World it back? World Cup security system. <laughs> <laughs> it detects if someone's punched it into the stratosphere and then gets your hand stuck. It's fine. Also, there's like four different teams playing right now. There's like four different uniforms. I don't know why. It's OK. It's normal. Uh, we're going to sneak out here. Don't worry about <laughs> it. We go out. We'll eventually get out. We're just taking our time. It's fine. Uh, hey. Hey. So now we need to go find the World Cup. <laughs> the not so fun part of this. Uh, it's, oh, there it is. Never mind. OK, that's good. We sent it from one soccer pitch to another one, so it's OK. Um, so we're going to go take this over to this boat over here and run away with it. Uh, but as soon as you approach the boat with it, it uh, counts as you having gotten it. So we can just like throw it in the water if we want to. It's so <laughs> Why did it just bounce off the water? 
All right. Anyways, we're in Russia, and there's a factory here that we're going to blow up. I don't know why, but... Um, so you went from Rio to Russia? Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we swam there. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go through... We don't know why we're doing it. It's just a task that says to do it. We just listen to whatever it says. Um, but there's some cool mechanics in this that we're not going to interact with at all. Like these balls here make things grow larger or smaller. Um, it'd be really cool if we... Okay, we need one of these, not two of these. Please, just grab one. Thank you. Amazing. I have to, like, hold four different... I have to hold, like, four buttons right now to hold the pickaxe and then charge my punch and then also tilt forward while also moving. So uh, this game is very mechanically dense, uh, and this allows you to punch it, and then you just kind of launch yourself in the air and fly over that. And we're going to do that a second time over here. So we already broke into the factory. It's not realized it yet. Uh, we're going to do that again. You have to be really careful here, because if I mess up, I get stuck between these fans, and it's impossible to get out of there. <laughs> You're just stuck between the fans for... Oh, we almost got stuck. <laughs> cool. Uh, we got arrested. We're in the Pentagon now, which is actually, like, the most normal thing that's happened so far. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, of course. That makes sense. Um, depending on the stuff you've done, your task list fills with different things, but since we just kind of ran straight to the end, we only have finish off the Mafia boss. Why is the Mafia's boss in the Pentagon? I don't know. There's some lore questions that even I don't know. So he's blocking this circle here, and it's really important for this not to be blocked because the laser needs to point to it. So we're going to put him in timeout over here. <laughs> Drag him away. Oh, I think he's oh. stuck. OK, he's stuck. OK. <laughs> Um, it got pointed out to me while I was practicing that all the tables in the Pentagon are also Pentagon-shaped, which is just really nice details. Uh, this was a school project, I believe, by yeah. eight different people, at least. So uh, hats I, off to them. I think they call themselves the Scoozy Boys. The Scoozy Boys, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the Scoozy <laughs> Boys. Um, but if we've done this correctly and the Mafia boss hasn't just stood up and blocked it again, we should be able to... There we go. Uh, and now there's a rocket in here, and obviously we're going to do the one interaction we have with the game, which is to punch it. And we get it going into the International Space Station. Woo! This level is surprisingly hard because it puts on low gravity, and Scoozy Man is difficult to control at the best of times. So adding in, you know, no gravity makes it really, really hard to control them. And these rockets. <laughs> <laughs> so these rockets, whatever direction they're pointing when you grab with both your hands, that's the direction it'll go. And it's like, how do you control turning them? You don't. You just <laughs> hope that while it's flopping in one of your hands, that it eventually goes the correct direction you want it to when you grab it fast enough. Um, there's a special secret combination here that's important. Uh, that's why I knocked it over and to not pay attention to it. So we need to knock out these six power cells here. Uh, if you hit those laser beams, they knock you away. Unfortunately, it didn't do it fast enough, so we're going to take this rocket and please point downwards. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back at the start again. <laughs> so that's just like a death warp? Yeah, normally the laser beams launch you like halfway across the map into like the void and you're fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, all right, so we got to do the lottery thing again, but not the lottery thing. Oh, why is this in the International Space Station? I don't know why. Uh, there we go, cool. That's close enough to the combination that it just gives it to us. So. It's, it's so lenient. Yeah, it's very, very generous. So we're going to grab this again, one. This, this was a school project. I know. I, really, <laughs> I, the, the people that made this, I have all the respect for them, because this is a pretty big game for a school oh, yeah. project. Like, there's, con there's way more to this game than what got shown off here. There's also, I just noticed really when you... things. I noticed when you're jumping in the air, if you look at the shadow, you can, like, see a skeleton. It's very weird. If you look... Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway, a rocket, I guess. That's how you know you've played too much Mii Scoozies when you notice things like the shadow changing. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to fly over here. This is actually the hardest part of the level. Um, after we go here, we have to control one of these rockets precisely, which uh, is not going to happen. But it's going to be funny to watch me try. So we've got two more to pull out. Uh, this one is going to be the toughest one. Normally you use a uh, terminal or a bunch of buttons over here. I was going to say terminal like it's actually some complicated thing. No, it's just a bunch of buttons over there, and you control that 
big uh, brick bridge that's there for some reason, and it lets you make a path across. You just did 360 with there the There we go. Kit. Cool. Oh, Actually, yeah. that worked yeah. really well. Good. Hey! Okay. Looks, shot. looks about as hard as it is yeah. to you. It's easy. It's rocket science. Yeah. Yeah. It is. All right, you got to finish. That was good. That was good. Yeah. So we're actually going to use the rocket to try to death warp again. We'll see if it works. See if it moves. Why is it making a squeaky sound? It's there making, we go. It sounds like literally all oh. run. So we uh, death warp so hard, we actually are going to die again. <laughs> <laughs> one, one thing I forgot to mention before we finish the game, because we are approaching the end of the game here, uh, there is a me scoozy button. There you go. <laughs> I was about to ask what that was because I heard it. <laughs> I heard it, and I thought it was someone behind us that said it. <laughs> so we have it. the last thing we have to do is push the poorly labeled button down this hallway. Um, but I would like to say thank you for, for having me on Silly Block um, and for letting me showcase whatever this is. Um, it's a lot of fun always. Um, and definitely stick around for the rest of it. So let's go fly up here <laughs> and uh, press the button that says "Do not push." Oh, okay. They, they say please. I mean, it says please don't push. It's fine. There's no sign there anymore. It's okay. <laughs> and time. What a treat. So yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you everyone on the couch for staying up. Thank you everyone in the crowd for staying up and keeping all the energy up. It was really appreciated. Please play this game. <laughs> Please play this game, it's free. <laughs> yeah, see you all around. Enjoy the rest of Silly Block. Our thanks once again to Bullets there with that wonderful performance as me, Scoozy. Scoozy it all over Scoozy World. That was excellent. During that run, $50 received here from At The Violet Hour. I'm so glad I stayed up until 6 a.m. to get this early alpha peak at Mafia 4. <laughs> Thank you, At The Violet Hour. And with that, SGDQ 2022 will continue right after this break. You're watching Summer Games Done Quick 2022, powered by Twitch. I'm your host, Prolix. Up next, we're still setting up a Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion 100% by Eldritch Wolfie. Following that will be Jimmy Johnson's Anything with an Engine, a Matador rookie race taking place between Ghoul 2 and Ghost Kumo. 
We received a $5 donation from Backside of Water saying, I don't know what I just watched, but I love it. Silly block is best block. Thank you. And a $25 donation to Doctors Without Borders here from DJ Birdman saying, hey, GDQ, as an Italian-born New Yorker, I can confirm that this is how Italians do. Thanks, Birdman. Sydney Bean donated $25 saying, just woke up and donating to get that turnip boy plushie for my wife as it's the first game she has ever completed and gotten 100%. Love you, Sam, and good luck to today's runners. Thanks a lot, Sydney. Yeah, those uh, prizes are scrolling by on your screen as, as you watch right now. Check them out. Some fantastic ones you can say right now. Anyway, getting back to my to-do list, a certain someone said they would donate more to charity if I tried to say all of these hat names backwards, so here I go. <laughs> uh, the hat choices backwards for Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion are... Tadrib, uh, Topot, the ever popular Arodef, uh, we've got Dlab, and don't forget Tanus. Then we've got, oh crap, uh, Tanani Karatsnak. Okay, yeah. And then we've got, uh, uh, Nark, and of course the the Termref, term, Termraf, of course, and then don't forget Terolpex. There you go. That's the best I can do. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I hope I hope they come through. I tried really hard. Here we go. Anonymous with $25 said, stoked for thunder in paradise later in silly block. Long live interactive television. Thank you for that, Anonymous. And $10 received here from Le French Restream saying, hello, this donation is to choose French for the dialogue text language used in the Control All Bosses run. Thank you to all the people who participate from near as far in this event. Keep up the good work. Garde la pêche. Thank you to the French Restream. Yeah, the Control All Bosses run one coming up later in the event. And there is a bid war for that. Mr. Mosty Toasty donating $10 just simply saying silly block hoip. And a thank you for spelling that H-O-I-P and in all caps with exclamation points so I know exactly how you want it said. <laughs> Mr. Mosty Toasty, much obliged. While the audience is out there keeping it pog bones, I've got more donations to read for you here as we set up. $25 here from the Lupine one saying, if Deer Simulator and Me Scoozy were that silly, I can't wait to see how silly we can get in the rest of Silly Block. Put the money toward the Sound Voltex Showcase. More rhythm action at GDQ is always a good thing. Hey, thanks a lot for that. Yeah, we have our next bonus game uh, incentive open right now, Sound Voltex Exceed Gear will be added to the schedule later on if that is met. You can literally buy more GDQ with your donations to our charity. Reninzo donated $25 here. Thank you for putting on a great event for a great cause every year. Hey, you're most welcome. Yeah, don't forget, you can go over to our website, click the button below the stream, however you'd like to get to the donation form. Uh, send in a donation just like Reninzo there. It's super simple to do. There are, we try to keep the barriers low. It just takes a couple of clicks, and you'll donate to our cause, a Doctors Without Borders or MSF. And while you're there, you can put things toward an incentive or something like that if you'd like. 
And when you're there, there's also a spot on the form where you can leave a comment, which we may read on air. I apologize, I cannot get around to everyone's, but I'll certainly try to read as many as possible. <laughs> Braylon donating $25 here. Got up extra early so I can see a root vegetable <laughs> perpetrate financial crimes while wearing unusual hats. Worth it. Have to agree. I have a $50 donation here from Kit saying, Happy Payday, SGDQ. Love seeing these silly games done fast. <laughs> awesome. Glad it's payday for you. That's excellent. And yeah, thank you so much. As much as we all have the resources and the means, and uh, we, we appreciate your donations to our charitable cause here, we're pushing ever closer to that $900,000 mark, and every little bit helps. Our minimum donation amount is only $5. Uh, so get out there and donate if you haven't yet. If you have already, consider another one if you're able. We'd much appreciate it. $50 here from Carp saying, oh boy, I can't wait to s for the next fever dream game that is coming. <laughs> A colon, capital D as well on the end of that. Thank you, Carp. The classic, Anonymous uh, donates $20 with the comment. Anonymous donates $20 with no comment. Thank you, Anonymous. Yeah, take, take a moment to uh, consider that one, everyone. <laughs> Jay Pappy donated $50 saying, first donation of this SGDQ won't be my last. Had to be during the silly block. Have fun and keep it silly. Oh yeah, trust me, we are. We are prepared to. Nemo2342 donated $50 saying, just wanted to say thank you to all the runners and staff who make this event possible. You're all true heroes, and I always look forward to these events so much. Also, shout out to my lovely partner, Allison, for spending this week watching GDQ with me. Yeah, sounds wonderful. Reminder here that Summer Games Done Quick 2022 is raising money for Doctors Without Borders, or MSF, who are an international medical humanitarian aid organization providing life-saving medical humanitarian care in over 70 countries around the world. MSF is committed to independence, impartiality, and neutrality. These principles are what make it possible for MSF to respond rapidly to emergencies and provide life-saving medical care in situations where many other organizations can't or won't. 90% of MSF staff is national, meaning they live locally and are from the country where they work. 